In a surprising move reported by ESPN's Adam Schefter, the Las Vegas Raiders have secured the services of former Los Angeles Chargers general manager Tom Telesco. The veteran executive known for his extensive experience in the NFL is set to bring his knowledge and expertise to the Raiders organization. Tom Telesco has a storied history in the league, having begun his career with the Carolina Panthers in 1995 before joining the Colts in 1998. His contributions played a role in the Colts' success, including their Super Bowl victory over the Chicago Bears. Telesco's tenure with the Colts was one of the most successful eras of the franchise's history, and his arrival in 1998 also coincided with the beginning and the end of the Peyton Manning era in Indianapolis. From 1998 to 2012, the Colts went 154 and 86 and appeared in the playoffs 12 times, winning eight division titles. The 154 wins from the Colts from 1998 to 2012 was the second most in the NFL during that span after New England at 168. And after that, at 40 years of age in January of 2013, Telesco became the youngest general manager in Chargers history and one of the youngest general managers in the NFL at that time. And he served as a Chargers general manager from 2013 to 2023. During his 10 years, the Chargers had an 84 and 92 overall record, zero AFC West division titles, three playoff appearances, and a two and three overall playoff record. Now, Telesco was fired alongside with head coach Brandon Staley after that historic ass whooping from the Raiders on Thursday Night Football with a final score of 63-21. to Adam Schefter recently in one of his tweets alluded to the fact that under Telesco, the Chargers had one of the most talented rosters throughout the past decade. And although I sort of agree with that, we should also understand that the Chargers were still a team that continually underachieved year in and year out. And whether that be due to the coaching staff decisions or players being injury prone, at the end of the day that stuff does go back to the general manager he's the one that's hiring the coaches and bringing in the players and over telesco's tenure with the chargers they rank 23rd when it comes to all pros in the national football league and 24th in the league when it comes to how many pro bowlers they had one of the four all pros was eric weddle and four of the 17 pro bowlers were on the chargers roster before telesco even arrived so although the chargers have had some talent they also haven't really been a stacked roster up until recently where they were able to draft quarterback justin herbert having him on that rookie deal which has allowed them to spend big money on both sides of the roster now the drafting of herbert is definitely something that looks good on telesco's resume but really how much credit should he get for drafting justin herbert it was clear back then that the Chargers were going to take whichever quarterback the miami dolphins didn't take with the fifth overall pick if the dolphins had been smart enough to draft Justin Herbert, then Tua Tagovailoa would have been a charger and at that point you can make the argument that Telesco probably would have been fired out of his job earlier because it isn't like Telesco traded up and made some excellent pick where he realized Herbert was the best quarterback in the draft. He took the third quarterback on the board so essentially Justin Herbert fell right into his lap. Now with the Raiders being in a situation where quarterback is seen as a need this offseason and with this being an NFL draft loaded with quarterback prospects I wonder how much the drafting of Justin Herbert played into a factor for Mark Davis when making this decision. So now that we got all that out of the way what do i think about this move look i'm gonna be honest tom telesco was not my first choice as a new general manager for the las vegas raiders the news honestly shocked me this morning i couldn't believe that champ kelly was not hired if it wasn't champ kelly then i was okay with us going out for a guy like ed dobbs but look who knows exactly why champ wasn't retained in this franchise i did have a lot of faith in champ kelly even though he is an experience at the position of general manager and it could be the fact that Mark Davis just wanted to bring in an experienced GM and he didn't want a rookie head coach with a rookie general manager. That could potentially be one of the reasons why he made this move. Now Telesco does not seem like the ideal candidate for the Raiders in my opinion and it's still bizarre to me that Mark Davis decided to hire the head coach 
first before hiring the general manager? If Telesco had been hired first the GM, would he have hired Antonio Pierce? I mean, really, who knows? It was just a very strange how this whole situation has played out for the Raiders. On the bright side, I mean, the Raiders do have a GM who has plenty of experience running a franchise, and he did do some good things with the Chargers. Telesco's tenure with the Chargers saw both highs and lows. He had some good draft picks and some impactful acquisitions and overall his experience and insights into building competitive rosters could bring a new dynamic to the Raiders the decision to hire Tom Telesco as a Raiders GM raises intriguing questions about the team's future direction with his track record in the league the expectation is that Telesco will play a pivotal role in shaping the Raiders roster in organizational strategy moving forward and as observers of the Raiders in the NFL the key question emerges is whether or not this move by the Raiders is a good one. The success of a GM often hinges on his ability to navigate through the complexities of acquiring players, contract negotiations, and just overall team management. Also, how he can perform in the draft. Overall, with the Chargers, he's, he's you know he's had some ups and downs as when it comes to drafting. This past year, he did not make a good first round pick selection with Quinton Johnson, but he has hit on some first rounders like Bosa and Herbert. Even though I still insist on the fact that Herbert was a pick that just fell into his lap, but I do gotta give him credit on that. Time will only tell if Telesco can steer the Raiders towards success and elevate the team's performance. The Chargers have also been a team that has been pretty aggressive in spending in free agency, especially as of late. So maybe this is another factor into why he got hired. Maybe ownership and Mark Davis feels like the Raiders are not too far away from making that leap and decided to go with the experience over the intrigue and potential of a guy like Champ Kelly and even a guy like Ed Dobbs. In conclusion, the hiring of Tom Telesco by the Las Vegas Raiders as an experienced and seasoned GM to their front office. Fans eagerly await the unfolding of the team's future under Telesco. Only time will reveal the true impact of his decision of the Raiders. And look, I hope I am wrong. I hope he can do some great things with his franchise. I have a lot of mixed emotions when it comes to this move. He wasn't my first choice. You know, I'm not really going to bash the move, but at the same time, not really going to praise it either. I think it's more of like a safe conservative signing. I mean, he does have experience. But at the same time, I don't really know if he brings a whole lot of innovative and new things to the table for the Raiders. But we'll just see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the coaching staff unfolds. Hopefully, we can keep Patrick Graham. Also, we'll see what happens with Champ Kelly. Is he going to stay within the organization or is he going to go elsewhere? But Raider Nation, those are my thoughts and opinions on the hiring of GM Tom Telesco as the new general manager. But I definitely want to get your guys' feedback in the comment section down below. Let me know down below. Are you guys a fan of this move? Are you guys not? Let me know. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that's all for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider-related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.